So welcome to today's Greater Life Coffee Cast. And with today being the pillar of hustle and the theme for this week being make the investment, here is my invitation for today. Make the investment for the long term. And two things inform this. I was listening to uh, a podcast where they were describing, of course, Warren Buffett's investing strategy. And I can't remember if it's paraphrased or not, but the idea that he would not invest in any company whose future he could not see being thriving in 20 years time. So he was making his investment calls based on a 20 year timeline to receive a return on that investment. And where most of us plan in days and weeks, okay, those who are most successful, if we want to just use the financial terms of successful, are typically those who can consistently do things for a longer period of time than others. And actually, it doesn't necessarily need to be um, in the realm of hustle, right? Olympic champions are willing to train hard, 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 hard for longer and more often than most people across a significant time spell, right? That they might start at 10 years old getting into the sport they're into and it's not until they're 20, 25 that they have then realised their dream. And that is a 15-year commitment of daily discipline and training, daily investment of time, effort, energy and money for a long-term payoff. Now, the other aspect in all of this um, is that today I had a conversation with a customer who didn't want to be our customer anymore. And they felt like it wasn't a good fit. And even though I and my business partner, Mike, were confident that we had delivered way more than in terms of like monetary time value, to this person than, um, than, than, you know, would would be reasonable to then expect a full refund. Actually, the long-term play, the long-term investment for me was to say, here is your money, and to then know that there is someone out in the world who, while they may not be a great fit for us, at least is out there in the world thinking well of us and potentially recommending people to us who would be a good fit. As opposed to someone where there is a bitter ending and that person is then out in the world potentially with the mouthpiece of exponential social media to say not nice things about us. The short-term play would be to have protected the money. The long-term play was to ensure the greatest you know, in real terms, the greatest loving outcome for both sides. And mine is that I trust that even though I may have given monetarily uh, enough to justify not giving money back, the long-term play is that in returning the money, there is a hopefully a greater quotient of love created and those ripples will return. So... And this, I guess, as I speak, it occurs to me, you know, you know, I'm a fan of Alex Hormozzi and, you know, just studying, you know, study those who are great. Right. And in this conversation, Alex Hormozzi was using the example of saying that, you know, Warren Buffett has done what Warren Buffett has done. And Alex and others are then able to learn from Warren Buffett, whereas Warren Buffett didn't have Warren Buffett to learn from. So we are we are always standing on the shoulders of giants. And one of the principles that I heard from Alex Hormozzi was that. Goodwill compounds faster than money. So my hope is that today I had the opportunity to invest long term in compounding goodwill and that that will return a greater rate than any money could. But what about you? How do we how does this kind of how is this relevant to you? Okay, you may understand the principles of yes, invest in the long term. But what might that mean? Well, one of the ways that's been present for me this week is I've been developing assets for our business. Um, we recently launched our Clarity and Traction scorecard. And that is uh, a way of allowing people to create a roadmap for themselves by answering a series of questions to implement and develop greater clarity and traction in their business. Greater clarity on what they offer, on their unique value, on who their customer is, and then 
how to get traction through cultivating an ecosystem of products and services and creating great offers and communicating simple, powerful, clear messages, how they can then convert sales effortlessly and authentically. And it's taken, like, it was probably a good seven to eight hours of work, maybe more, to get this um, this roadmap tool created, this clarity and traction roadmap tool created. And yet, having done it, that asset is now one that I can leverage across the lifetime of my business, okay, that can bring value to hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of customers. And yet, many of us shirk from putting that investment of initial time and energy but it is a long-term investment okay so today my question is where have you been putting off maybe writing that book or actually getting that book finished and published or writing that newsletter or whatever it might be what is the what is the product or service that you've been putting off creating and that knowing it will take some investment of time effort energy and money but that actually once it's created that asset can bring you potentially untold wealth and income and impact. Okay, so going forward today, what can you build today that is an investment for the long term?